Hey, this is Coach Mike with One Wisconsin Volleyball Club making a tutorial on how to run a 6-2. At One Wisconsin, the 6-2 that we use involves a couple of special features like uh, running a stack in the front court when our outside's in right front, as well as positionally where our setter and our middles are gonna be when we have different serve receives and bases. So I just wanted to talk through some of those features. So I'll try to set up each shot with our rotation first so you can see where we are in rotation. And then I'll move and uh, manipulate the players in a position so you can see what's going on. So we're gonna start with rotation one and we're gonna say that we're serving. So our team is gonna be serving. So in rotation one, you can see I've got my setter number one, middle number one and outside number one positioned in a power triangle. And then I've got my opposite hitter who could be a setter possibly, um, depending on what you're running. I've got my hitter outside number two and I've got my middle number two set up here in the back row. Since we're serving, chances are good that my middle is going to be off and a libero will be on instead. So for this first ball contact, my setter can be off court. Uh, our base defense, we like to run our liberos out of left back. So I'm going to bring my libero near the middle, near the 10 foot line. And my outside number one is going to be near the middle back. In the front court, our middle blocker is set up to block and our opposite and our outside are ready to switch. At contact of serve, the setter serves, comes to her base. Our middle back and left back position themselves and our two players in the front court will swap out spots to set up our base defense. For our base defense, we'll always have an outside in the left, a middle in the middle, and an opposite or a setter in the right front. In the back court, we're running our libero out of left back, our outside out of middle back, and our setter out of right back. So that is service for rotation one. Let's go back to rotation one. So in rotation one again, if we have to move into serve receive for this rotation, so in serve receive, we wanna have our front court stacked. So what's gonna happen is our opposite is gonna get tucked in the corner, our middle is gonna get tucked in right next to our opposite, and our outside number two will come all the way across and line up so they can help with serve receive. Our setter is gonna move over here, our libero will move over here, and outside number one moves into the primary passing position. So this is our three passers, outside, outside, libero. Positionally, the reason that our outside number two can be here is because in rotation, our outside number two is to the right of our middle one and is in front of setter one. So even if they move all the way over here, they're still to the right of middle number one and they're in front of setter number one. So that's why this rotation works. So once the ball is served, our setter will release to their set zone our outside will transition to hit. I'm gonna move these extra players off. Middle will transition, and this is a tough one for the, out, the opposite. Opposite is trying to get all the way across to be able to attack a ball out of the right front. Then once our attackers finish their attacks, players can go into their base defense. And here we are set up back into our rotation one base. So that is rotation one. Let's move on to rotation number two. I'm gonna start us in rotation one again so you can see what it looks like. And then we will rotate the players. So as we go from rotation one to rotation number two, we're gonna rotate our players around. Outside number two comes back to the service zone and outside number one is in the front court. So now we're into rotation two. In rotation two, the reason we uh, like this rotation, it gets us our outside hitter number one ready to attack balls, and we're still running our setter out of the back row. For rotation two service, we're going to be moving. Um, our outside is gonna transition off to serve. Whenever we have serving, we like to have our middles be ready to block, so our middle will start in the middle. Outside number one is ready to uh, block on the left side there. Our libero can actually start in their base and our setter can start in their base. So the only position that needs to move is our opposite. Once our outside number two serves, they'll go to their base, outside, our opposite goes to their base, and now we are set up in our rotation two base. So let's go back into rotation two positioning and we'll see what it looks like when we have to serve receive. So here we are in rotation two. And when we go into receive, our setter is going to be pushing up our opposite. Remember our setter is between the libero and the outside number two. So they can move over up to outside number two. 
Our middle hitter will actually come off and pick up trash right there. Our libero will pinch over and our outside number one will come back. So again, it gives us three in serve receive. Setter's up here ready to go after the set ball and our opposite and middle will transition and switch to hit. Once the serve occurs, our setter releases, middle transitions, opposite transitions, outside number one transitions. These players in the backcourt get in position for hitter coverage. Setter sets the ball, everybody goes in, does their attack work, and now we're into our rotation to base. Let's continue to rotation three. So I'll reposition us, so we're back into rotation number two, and then we'll rotate. So here we are transitioning into rotation three. Everybody's gonna rotate one spot. It brings our middle number one back to serve. And this libero can't go in the front court, so we'll libero swap out and middle two will come back in. Now, depending on who you have serving, if your middle is able to serve, we can leave it like this. But this is our rotation three. So if we are gonna serve, let's say our middle can serve. So we'll have our middle come back to serve. In the front court, since we're serving again, we want middle number two ready to go. Our outside needs to transition from between the middle and the opposite all the way across, so our outside's gonna hang out there. In the back court, our setter wants to get all the way to the right back, so they'll be near the 10-foot line, and our outside two will be near the middle back. I usually like to have my middles serve from the left back and my liberals, because instead of serving and then running all the way across to get to left back, if they can serve from here, they can move into left back right away. So I'm gonna do that right now. At contact, setter's gonna to release to base, outside releases to base, and our middle or libero, whoever's serving that spot, will go into their base defense, and this is our rotation three base defense. Going back into our rotation, we'll take a look and see what it looks like for when we're actually receiving. Now, typically in a receive, we won't have a middle in, so we'll libero swap, and our libero will be in. In any serve-receive positioning, we do want to have three passers, so our middle number two is getting pushed up in the corner by our setter. And actually, our setter is to the left of number uh, our outside number two, so they can move over all the way up here to this outside two. Outside number one is able to actually move back here because they have to stay to the right of middle two, and in front of outside two. So as long as they move to this position, they're perfectly fine. And then our garbage collector is gonna be our opposite. And our opposite can be either camped out over here or moved inside. I like to have them outside, that way they're out of the way of the libero. So this is rotation three, receive. We've got two outsides and a libero passing the ball. Once the ball is contacted, the setter is gonna to release to the set zone, middle transitions to attack, attack, attack. And these players in the backcourt will work to get into their perspective base positions to cover the hitter. Hitters attack a ball, and we get into our base defense. So this is our rotation three base again. Now the first three rotations are very similar to the next three rotations. So let's move into rotation four. Let me get our players back into their positions. So we have our setter. Here, middle, there we go. Okay, so this is rotation three, and now we're going to rotate into rotation four. So as we rotate, our opposite comes back. Everybody shifts over. And in this rotation, if you are running a 6-2, then this is where you have a sub, where you would sub setter number two in for your opposite, and then you may have a different opposite that you sub in for setter number one. So you might do that substitution to get you to rotation four. Once in rotation four, you can see it looks very similar to rotation number one. And the service is going to be basically the same. Our setter goes back to serve. In the front court, we have our middle set up to defend. Everybody else is getting as close to their position as they can possibly get without overlapping. Remember, our outside is to the right of our libero. And at setter contact, she's gonna come into her base, libero will go to her base, and our front court players will switch spots, and now we are in our rotation four base. And that was coming in off of a serve. Sorry about that. So off the serve, we are into this positioning. So we'll go back into rotation four so I can show you what happens when we receive. Again, it should look familiar. 
So here I am, rotation four. We're gonna move into a reception. So in our reception, we are now going to have our front row outside hitter, number one, stack everybody up. So they basically bring everybody across so they can get back here to pass. These other two passers will shift over and setter number two is over here. Remember the positioning is setter two has to be to the right of our libero and has to be behind outside number one who's actually in this spot here. So as long as those two criteria are, are sat satisfied, we're okay. So on reception, setter is going to release. Our outside transitions to hit, middle transitions to hit. The opposite has to hustle all the way across to get position and our backcourt players work to get to their spots. Hitters will then attack. Setter comes back into our base, and now here we are back into our rotation four base defense. We've got outside number two back here, libero, outside one, middle two, opposite, and setter two. Okay, as we transition from rotation four into rotation five, let me get our players back into position. So we're set up like this. Okay, so this is our rotational spots. We're gonna transition into rotation number five. So everybody's gonna rotate, 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 rotate. All right, now we have outside number one in this position. So we're in rotation five now. Outside number one is in the serving zone. So I'm gonna have them go back to serve. We wanna start our middle in the front. When we're serving, we wanna be able to defend ready on the back court here. Since our outside's off the court, our setter can go to their base, our libero can go to their base. Our outside's base is middle back here, so it's good positioning. And at contact, our outside's gonna go to their middle back defense, opposite will transition, and here we are in the rotation five base. So then continuing on, we go back into where we are in rotation. So this is our positioning in rotation, and we want to do our serve receive now. So in serve receive, similarly, our setter has to be between these two players. So they're gonna move this way as close to outside one as they can, and they have to be behind the opposite, so we're gonna bring the opposite over here. Middle number two is gonna scoot off to pick up trash. Our libero can pinch over, as long as they're to the left of setter two, we're good. And outside number two will come back to pass. So these again are our three passers. The ball is contacted. We uh, transition to hit after making the pass. Transitioning to base, our setter is releasing, middle's transitioning and out, opposite's transitioning off. Then the attack occurs, hitters go and attack, everybody goes back to base, and here we are in our rotation five base. All right, we have one more rotation left, so I'll get us all back into position so that we can see what it looks like. Here we are in position of rotation five and we're gonna be rotating into rotation six. So we do this rotation, setter, outside one, middle two comes back to serve, opposite, outside two, and our libero has to come off and our middle one will come back on. That happens uh, in this rotation. Now, typically I have my libero serve and oftentimes it's going to be for uh, middle number two. That way we can defend more readily. So here we have transitioned into rotation six. Rotation six now, we're gonna be serving. The barrel is gonna come back to serve. In the front court, we want our middle in position to block. Our opposite is ready to go in position. And you can see here that our um, outside, who is trying to get to the middle back, can position here, and our setter can position here near the 10. I tell my libero's and middles to serve from left back because their base is going to be in left back, so they're gonna position over here to serve. And after contact happens, they go to base, setter goes to base, this outside trans transitions to base, and here we are in our base for rotation six. I'm gonna set this back up so that we are ready to go with positioning for our last receive. So we have here, this is rotation six, and we're gonna go into serve receive. Again, looks pretty similar. Our middle has to be in front of our setter two, so we're gonna hide our middle in the corner. Setter number two um, has to be behind the middle, but can be up to outside number one. So setter two is gonna move in this position, and outside number two has to be to the right of middle one and in front of outside number one, they can move to this spot here. 
Our ops is gonna come off the net a little bit to pick up trash. These are our three primary passers. At contact, setter releases. Middle transitions to hit, outside transitions to hit, opposite transitions to hit. Backcourt players get in position to do their hitter coverage. Setter sets the ball, they transition and attack, and then they go to base. And now we are in rotation base six. So we'll do one more rotation to get us back to number one. So we're gonna rotate and then we get back into position. We just had our uh, barrel there serving, okay, like so. So now we're gonna rotate finally and finish up back into rotation one. This is the time again where you might have to do a double sub. So we're gonna rotate everybody first, and then you'll see, oh, we need our setter number one back, so this opposite comes off. Setter number one comes back, and we'll do this at the same time, a sub of a, another opposite to with our setter number two. And you can see now that we are back into rotation one, ready to continue the game. So rotation one, again, the reason we run it this way, the triangle, our setter number one, our middle number one, and our outside number one gives us that power triangle. So this is a very, um, good way to run this offense. Hopefully that answered a couple of your questions and we'll look forward to seeing you guys in the gym.